Hello everyone, I am PurpleLink33. Welcome back to another edition of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we completed the map. Isn't it pretty? We also started heading up toward this region, the Akala region. We discovered Terrytown. There's a shrine there we gotta do. We did that shrine. Ugh. And we discovered the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Notice it is still orange, which means we have to act find what is needed to make it blue, like this one. That is going to require finding a flame. Finding a whole lot of flame. The blue one, specifically. This one's actually more of a bigger pain in the arse. And I see that time is of the essence. I can see right now, I have a cloudy segment, a sunny segment, and then thunderstorms. Thunderstorms will happen in about seven minutes real time. I do not have time to dawdle. Yes, I am well aware of the uh, giant elephant in the room over there that's over in Skull Lake. I will take care of that later. Also take care of you guys. Ow! That's gonna hurt. Um oh am I sorely underprepared for this? I am. Well Perfectly fine. What am I getting rid of? I'm getting rid of you, because I'm gonna need you. Spite Moblin Club. Why am I getting a Spiked Moblin Club? Very simple. I need something that can light on fire. It's even more helpful if I can... Um, even more something if I can use it as a... a weapon. Alright, so the idea here is we're going to have to try to follow the path as much as possible. And deposit the flame in as many of these uh, way by uh, these torches, or these lanterns, as possible. Um. Give me a lantern nearby. Something, anything. Crap. So you're supposed to follow the path all the way up here and take out the enemies on your way down or on your way up. The truth is, we didn't do that. Of course. Since that's a little damaged, we'll get a new one. Okay, so again, we're running against the clock at this point. You're gone. Okay. Damn it, I'm left down with four minutes until thunderstorms encompass the area. That is bad. That's going up. I want to go down. If I can see on the next tier there's another, another torch, like right there, I'm just going to go for it. Unfortunately, this does mean I'm kind of... Okay. Here we go. I think there's down there. I'm just gonna go run. I 
what we're gonna do. We're just gonna run. I'm already way ahead of where I thought I was. Heh. <laughs> ah, the Coblin trying to shoot at me. Missed. Just like Fog. He missed. Wow, I am so sorry, everyone. Well, um, this is the easiest path I've ever taken to get this. I need that lantern. Oh, you're dead. Get some. All right, I need to get that lantern lit up. Now, once these lanterns are lit, they're lit for good. Okay. Now is the fun part. How far away am I? Not terrible. Okay. I'm lighting grass on fire. That's fantastic. Where's the next lantern? Crap, this isn't gonna work. I have a minute and a half. I need this to stay lit. For a minute and a half. This is where I wish I had speed potion. There's another torch. That's my target. I don't know if I'm going to make that before this uh, breaks on me. Please. Please get there. I'm going to be close. Oh, God damn it! I was that close. Um, I have nothing else to light on fire. We're going to be in danger of having to wait. Oh, well, shit, there's one there. There's one up there. branch. Well, you know what? Let's head down by the, uh, yeah, let's head down by the, by the stable. We'll just take a nap. There's the rain. I we need to take a nap, actually, just Relax for four minutes. Can I sit here and chill? Inside we go. A sacred article. Well, you know what? Let's see what this is. Rumor Mail Volume 4. This is Tracy. I have a taste for the rumors of worlds long gone and your world yet to come. Everyone's gossiping the present world. Here's my favorite bit of the latest news. Treasures of the Falling Star. You guys kind of saw that last episode. The star is spread out in the sky like a tapestry, and across that expanse you see one streak of light, a shooting star. And I've heard there is treasure waiting where these stars have landed. Next time you see one, why not trek it down to see where it lands? Trace recommendation, four stars. How about you? You had an exclamation... You... You look seriously creepy. Anyway. Hello. Hmm? I haven't seen you around here. Boy, you sure have strange tastes. You're like someone who has traveled willy-nilly all over the world. Who are you? Sorry, I haven't introduced, my introduced myself. I'm Nobo. I've traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I like Akala best of all. 
That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. Is there something you want to know? You know Hudson? Hudson? Who's that? He's a carpenter. I'm not quite sure. I've been hearing clanging and banging by Lake Akala. That's south of here. Why don't you go check it out? I already did. Anything else you want to know? This area. Let's see. If you go west of the stable, there's a secret place called the Spring of Power. Offer the sacred article to the Spring of Power. That's what the legend says. Maybe it was part of a ritual the Princess of Hyrule Castle used to perform? Anything else you want to know? Farther areas? There's a lighthouse looking home north of here. No one was there last when I last I stopped by, though. Anything else you want to know? Not really. <laughs> See ya! The Spring of Power is a shrine quest. You know what? We'll just... Re yes, I will be. Let's do the soft bed. Why not? We'll sleep till morning. Now that I've made the decision... Damn it. I just wanted to sleep till night. That would get me to 9 o'clock. But I did get an extra heart out of it. And I'm going to have 8 minutes. Here we go. What do you have? Yeah. Good morning. Sigh. Something wrong? The blue flame. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I guess I was daydreaming. Life has been so dull since I married into this family. I used to pass time by the staring at the lantern's blue flame. But the director at the Kala Ancient Tech Lab hasn't lit the fire in so long. The lab? Yes, this director used to light the lanterns of the blue flame for his experiments. But he's getting up there in age now, so maybe he can't get out as often as he used to. That's gonna mean me. I'm talking about the Akala Ancient Tech Lab right up this road, if you haven't been. They remodeled it from an old lighthouse, so it's easy to spot. Alright, so we have... Once again, we have eight minutes. And I really should have, uh... I mean, for real, I should have, uh... Damn it, there goes my last stamina wheel. I really should have, uh... Lit something. Now, if I remember correctly, all of the lanterns we've already lit should still be lit, and if they're not, I'm going to be very upset. Yes. Um. That's great. Fine. No tree branch. This is where we're going to run into a problem here, people. I have nothing to light with to light a fire with. Yep, he sees me. He's got something. Give me that. Alright, it is time to run. Now, you cannot run while you are carrying a, a stick, so please keep that in mind. I did see something up to my left, so I think I'm going to go for that. Yep, right up this way. I should probably get a backup. Uh, this probably isn't where I want to go, but nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, we'll use you. With his broadsword. Um, 
Yeah, that's the direction I think I want to go. Alright. Three and a half minutes. I press the right arrow. That's actually crap. And once we're done with you, once you have served your purpose, I will... This is the direction you're supposed to go. Light. Just gotta get up to the pl to the pathway and light the next torch, lantern. And I gotta do it within three minutes. Gotta get to that lantern. Get there. Got it out. Just like your Deku just like lighting a Deku stick in uh, Ocarina of Time, you have so much time to get there, and we're gonna get there with no problem whatsoever. That lights, and that lights. And we've got the travel gate. That's the important part. And you know what? I feel like lighting that up. Light you all on fire! Don't play with fire, kids. There's guardians all over this place. They are full of spoils, ancient screws, stuff that you'll find from completely and totally decayed guardians. There's also that over there, which we're not doing yet because we're not ready for that just yet. What's coming to get me? I I heard the attack theme. What was it? Ooh, there is a shrine in there, by the way. Arrow. There's also a junkyard over there full of guardian parts that are completely and totally decayed. That's not why we're here, though. We're here for what is in here. The Akawa Ancient Tech Lab. Oh ho! You, Link, listen up. Hmm. My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. The furnace is lit. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. Three ancient arrows. That's a good thing. They are made using ancient Sheikah, te Sheikah, Sheikah technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they have morphed into anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them Ancient Arrows. In addition to Ancient Arrows, Cherry can make all kinds of ancient, ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. Rupees? Did you hear that? Ah, uh, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out. With rupees. Lots of them. I beg of you. Then let's do it, hmm? The two of us, as soon as possible. Yes, let's conquer the calamity. <laughs> well, Robbie's research is done. Let's take a look. Hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. Okay. These guys. You can get a lot of awesome stuff here, but there are some things I'm going to point out. First and foremost, of course, ancient arrows. This is the only place where you can buy ancient arrows. They require ancient shafts, ancient screws, or ancient springs. If you get the group of five, it's ancient springs that you use. I'm going to get five of them, even though I can't really afford anything else now. 
We've got the five ancient arrows now. Actually, we now have eight, which is good. Any guardian we come up against, we shoot them in the face, and they go down. Well, it might take a couple arrows, depending on some of the things. Again, anything you see in pink, you cannot do, uh, because you don't have enough. Ancient sword, uh, short sword, that's actually a really nice weapon uh, with attack of 40, but you need um, all those ancient springs and shafts and 1,000 rupees. Ancient shield is actually a really, really good shield uh, that I use. It will stand and deliver against a guardian beam. It is great. Ancient blade saw, attack of 55, but again, I'm not a huge fan of the two-handed weapons, although I've been using them a lot because they're, they, uh, they pack a punch. Um, does require one more ancient shaft, but again, a thousand rupees is gonna hurt. The ancient spear, never really used it. I can get a better one from here. This is the one that I really use, the ancient bow. First off, you can see how good of a bow it is. On top of that, it is super accurate, even from a distance. It will fire in a straight line. It's laser precise. It's amazing. So we've got that. There's the Ancient Helm, which inc which is a... It's the Helm part of the Ancient set. Guardian Resist Up, so it will resist Guardian Attacks. It does require 2,000 Rupees and lots and lots of, of materials. Ancient Gears, Shafts, and Cores. Need some Ancient Screws for this one, of course. You still need Cores and Ancient Gear. That's the Ancient Quiras. I think I'm... I'm I, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. 2,000 Rupees, of course, there as well. And the Ancient Greaves, that's the Leg set. Gear springs and cores for that as well. So we're going to need seven more cores, um, six more shafts, and 33 more ancient gears. Only way to do, to get those is to search by... Yes, thank you. Uh, to search by uh, guardians that are toast, and to destroy guardians as well. You had an exclamation point by your thing. Good day! And check it out! How is that? I figured I'd give an impression of the Tenno Ancient. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, not at all. I don't think it was a bit, a bit much. Oh, Link, I'm really glad you're such a friendly guy. So, what do you need from me? Who are you? Hey, yeah, I'm Jaren. Check it out. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history. To be honest, I've been focusing a lot of um, my research on shrines. That reminds me, Link, you, there's somewhere you need to go. Um, it, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Have you got any other questions about Robbie? Robbie is one of the researchers of ancient civilizations. He was studying guardians at the Hyrule Castle a hundred years ago. That's creepy. Oh, Robbie, we're a half century apart age-wise, but we never let that get in the way. He and I are married. You're married? <laughs> yes, indeed. Together we run the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. I've got a son as well. So they did... We're going to let that go. Have you got any other questions? Your son. That's right, I've got one son. His name is Grante. Mm. Have you seen him in your travels? I have not seen him. Really? Well, if you see him, be nice to him, okay? Have you got any other questions? i got to go. See you later. The Skull's Eye, another shrine quest. Now, one thing I feel I should bring up, um, I keep mentioning about having 13 hearts for the Master Sword. That does not include the yellow hearts. We're going to pick this clean. This is called Ancient Dumpster Diving. <laughs> We're going to find all of this, all sorts of this stuff here. Oh, well, son of a bitch. Bye. Oof. And by the way, if you do talk to the Koroks, they don't really say anything of importance. It just says... Tweehee, that's it. That's all the bloody dude says. Oh, shite. The moment you hear thunder, uh, that's actually good, and that's also good. Excellent. Ancient spring. Uh, that's seven. Oh, my God. I need more of those. Ancient gear. That's the one I need a lot of. Ancient spring. 
And basically, like, running through here, pressing the A button, like, ma like mashing the hell out of it. Trying to see what else I can find. Ancient screw. Well, you know... I think we're going to give that Skull's Eye a, a shot, don't you guys think? It might be a bad idea, considering I know what's on the way there. Where we're going is over here. Pook! Never get to see the pink, the purple one, so we're going to poke that there. Alright, so that was damn close. We're gonna go this way. Now along the way we're gonna run into something that I'm desperately going to try to avoid. Because I don't know if I can take it on. You, however, are gonna are gonna have are gonna have a bad time. I know, I'm referencing a game I've never played. I actually do that a lot. I reference ga some games that, like, I've seen bits and pieces of, like, I've seen a Let's Play of it, but I've never once played the particular game. Okay. I need to make sure that I don't s that I don't see this guy. I think he's over there. I think we're good. As long as I don't catch this guy's eye, we'll be okay. There's a Lionel in the vicinity, that's what I'm talking about. There is a Lionel nearby. He just made noises. He's over there. I want to stay over here. And actually, I want to go this way. I got him. And there's that there. Zap shrooms. We're trying to get some of these. Uh, oh, check. They're all not working. They would glow yellow if they were uh, if they were operational. Another ancient gear. That was close. You don't need things to be that close. We want the thunderstorm to pass. Another sh another guardian that was just gonna say that there's a shrine nearby. No, you don't say. Surely you can't be serious. Well, I am serious. And stop calling me Shirley. I get all three? I got all three of them. That's one thing, uh, one positive effect of the, uh, of the rain. Is that it will spread out your electric attack. Rain is working on going away as we keep getting ancient materials. It's a very good thing. There's really only one way there. We are now going to put on the appropriate gear that may have to get dyed purple. I do like how that looks in purple. There really is no good foothold up that uh, left eye. Now, left eye, 
as you look, it's as the skull is looking at you. It will look right. So the I mean, it's the right eye as you look at it, but it is the skull's left eye. As we will now head directly for the for that spire. And I want to say this is a blessing shrine, but I'm not sure. The Zunakai shrine. I don't think this... I think this actually is a blessing. This completes the skull's eye. Moving right along here. Another shrine. Going to the books. Just have seven more. After this one, there'll be six. We'll be that much closer. Yeah, this is a blessing shrine. Um, and in here we find... A flame blade. Yeah, I want that. Instant fire. So yeah. Easy, uh... Easy shrine is easy. Maybe they got a smell upon you. Hooray! That puts us at 30 shrines. We are a quarter of the way done with shrines. Don't even get me started on the, on the Korok seeds. We have 20. Again, there are 900. You want to do the math? It's like 2.22%. It's terrible. Now, Kilton, the man we've heard uh, heard talked about before, will show up down there. Now, here's another way you can light uh light yourself a fire. Grab yourself a bundle of wood. Drop it. Get yourself a flame blade. Light it. And we're going to stay there till night. We're going to do something super creepy here. You see the balloon down there? We'll just drop right on in. It sounds super creepy. That balloon looks like it's been piecemealed together. And that is one creepy looking dude. Except that's not his face. Oh, that's his face! <laughs> hmm? Oh, he's just a Hylian. Who are you? Me? My name is Kilton. I suppose you're here because you heard I was opening a monster shop and you wanted to see it for yourself. Monster shop? Yes, I'm opening a monster shop called Fang and Bone, but I'm still preparing for my grand opening. Here's my business card. Fang and Bone, come see old Kilton for the most monstrous deals in all of Hyrule. Guaranteed. I'm going to need that card back. It's the only one I have. Anyway, do you, um... Are you into monsters? I like them. How, uh, how much do you like them? I adore monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say the line. I, uh, sorry. I did it again. Oops, I did it. No. I just love the field of monster research so much that I decided to open a shop all about monsters. I call it Fang and Bone. I travel all around Hyrule in search of rare and exciting monster parts, but I'm not sure which village I should visit next. Kakariko Village or Hateno Village? Though Rito Village and Zora's Domain are also good options, hmm? I suppose I could go all the way down to Gerudo Town or Lurlin Village, but Lake Akala is much closer. <laughs> Rah! I'm so excited I can hardly contain myself! I just can't sit around while there are monsters to be studied. I'm off! I'm sure we'll meet again in some village during the night. Fare thee well. And off he goes. Poof. With that, 
we're actually going to head over to... Remember, there was a side quest involving Kilton, involving this guy. With the, um... With the soldier. He wanted to know about this guy. He wanted all the intel. We can give him all the intel. It's actually, uh... Not terrible. Some weapons you have come across have special properties that set them apart from others of their class, such as superior durability or above average attack power. We have seen that with all of the amiibo stuff going on. Alright. Let's go find that soldier and tell him that Kilton's an okay guy. What's up? Good evening! You need info about Kilton? Tell me. There are some reports of people spotting him around Zoro's domain in Kakariko Village. But I wonder why he only appears at night. Unfortunately, I can't leave this spot. I'm on guard duty, after all. I've been waiting to see a close-up picture of him. Ah, oh, fuck. Nah. <laughs> okay. That lady wants to see a... A lantern. Good, I still have that. So we're going to try and find us a blue flame and get to those two, uh... And get to those two lanterns. So well, here's another lantern here. And there is... Ow! Oh, that's gonna, that was going to hurt. You're the dangerous one. Get out of my way. Take it. Move. Die. Die. There we go. So much better. Oh, I can't care anymore. Well, we'll need we'll leave that there just in case we need it. Uh, just in case something breaks. Okay, I see how they want me to do this. I'm gonna go up and to the right. Go to the right. There's a lantern there. There. And there. Break. Whack. And here. Good. Whack. Should be plenty of time to get to that lantern. And she's going to reward us with her love. Actually, I don't even remember what, her, what the reward is. Good old blue flame. It's so soothing to stare at, don't you think? Don't put it out. There's... There's not a... I thought there was a... I thought there was a thing. What do you say? Hello! You look at, you look like a chick from afar. You used to call us the... Oh, by the way, good sir. Okay. Sounds yummy. Okay. Sure. Om nom. Nom nom. <laughs> So that was a waste of 10 rupees, is what that was. We're going to make us a friend here. Sup, puppy? Nom, 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 nom. That little pink stuff means that we did something right. Keep feeding the dog. Nom, nom, nom.
So you're going to get him to start following you a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, you know you want it, buddy. You want another one? You have another one. You have another one. It's supposed to do it after just three. There we go. I think I did one right but right before the other too, too quickly. Get out Magnesis, because Puppy's going to find us something. What do you got, boy? And once you find it, he runs away. Oh, actually, that's really good. I've kind of been wasting those. Thank you, puppy. Okay, so... What do we want to do? What's that? Hylian homeowner. I don't have a lot of money. I just realized that. I don't have any money. Well, let's go talk to uh, the Great Fairy. See what we can upgrade and then see what we can sell. And see what we can buy for our house. Actually, no, that might not be what I want to do. I definitely want to go see the Great Fairy. That's going to be first on the agenda. Nummy. Need to replenish some of my own energy so I had to barbecue chip. I don't think those exist in this world. At any rate, good. We are going to see a bunny. Bunny is going to give me rupees every time I shoot at him. I'm going to go very quietly. Right over this way. Bunny is going to appear again. Hi, lizard. Where'd he go? He was just there. How rude. You know, I've got all of these shrines that I've marked on the map, and I didn't go to any of them. That's what we'll do. We'll get these marks off my map. Because we can. Endura Carrot's here. What's up here? There's more. I see. Says the blind man. Alright. Great, Great Fairy, what do you have for me today? Welcome back, boy. Mm. Yes, we can. What do we have here? Okay. I need one more rush room. I need one more rush room to get the climbing gear up level two. Or to level one. Ah. Yep. Yeah, go ahead and do mm. it. Do your thing. Damn it, I need another rush room. Yep, I know about that. Ah. <laughs> there is one more fairy we haven't found. She is in the desert. Just to show you guys. Zoom. Zoom! I'm gonna mark that with that. We are going to need that. We're going to need that mainly because it might be hard to find that particular uh, thing. Kakariko Village. We're going to the store. Food store. That's right, you have weird stuff. Well, you know what? We're going we're gonna to sell you my stuff. What are we selling? Let's take a look. We have two of those already.
God damn, it's a lot. When you're really in a pinch, you sell this stuff off and go fight guardians. Moblin fangs. All of them. That's money. All of them. That's money. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, jeez, that's 300 rupees. God. This is probably dumb, but we've seen enough of the... We've seen enough of these bloody things. Yes, I know I could have powered up my Hylian stuff, but... I think, uh... This is important, too. Alright. Oh, I actually need to keep those. These I can probably get rid of. Oh man, I can make those. He knocks to <laughs> oh, crap. I don't really have exotic oh. wares, they're, they're monster parts. You go kill things, you might you might actually run into something that you could find. Okay, f uh, not, you know, it's not worth it. Three eighty four. Doing math in the fly. Three hundred plus it's four eighty. That's a hundred and twenty. That's two hundred. That's wood. Key sideball, it's only sixty. We're gonna we're gonna leave it. So it's good to have a, a stockpile of money. That last fairy, by the way, remember we had to give m rupees to to the every fairy. She needs ten thousand rupees. Oh, what do you have? Aww. That's right, my good man. I knew it the moment I saw you. <laughs> I figured you had one heck. I f had you figured for one heck of an archer. I'm head over heels for a sl fine slice of man that can use a bow. <laughs> oh my god! So how about it? Why not take out that bow and show me something special? That's what she's... Oh my god. Wow. You got it. Aww. All you gotta do is light the torches by the goddess statue. Think you're up for the challenge? You got it. Oh. Oh. Arrows of burning heat. Oh. I want to take all of them. Because I am out of fire arrows. Like, desperately out of fire arrows. Oh. I'm going to take all these too. Yep. And those arrows are gone, so out we go. Alright, so we're going to light all the torches by the goddess statue. Actually, you know what we can do? Light that on fire first. That's one. These are cheaper. And you see the adventure log popping up. That's done. No, let go. Done already? Yep. Ah. <laughs> I saw you! You were amazing! Boy, what a shot in the heart that was. Mm. My husband's a fine archer himself, but we're living apart right now. That's sad. This feeling, it's been so, so long. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Oh my god. Everyone's thirsty for Link. That's just how it is. Everyone is so bloody thirsty for Link. In fast here, take a look at my thanks. 20 rupees. Mm. If, only <laughs> if only my husband hadn't become obsessed with cuckoos and had kept up with his archery skills, if only... 
Arrows of Burning Heat is now complete. You know, I think that's a good place to end it. We've completed a couple of side quests. We got something very important done by lighting the uh, the blue the ancient furnace by the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, and we did a couple of shrines. We also met Kilton, whom we can find at nighttime in many various villages. In many various locations. Next time, let's play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hmm. That's actually a good, good thought. What is next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? I don't know. Find out with me when we get back. <laughs> we'll see you guys then.